I'm Richie Duncan. I'm one of the members and managing directors of Powered Pasture. Hi, I'm James Daniel, Director of Precision Grazing. And this series of videos looks at the benefits of grazing, but most importantly, at the equipment required to introduce some more subdivision to the farm and, and how you may go about it and what you can use. Why would you might you need subdivision? Well, if you're going to start managing your grass better, so either by rotational grazing or a different, different form, then you need to move the animals reasonably regularly. So rotational grazing or managed grazing, what are the benefits? Well, it's not just about growing more grass, but it's about growing more grass when it's really valuable, so in the shoulders of the season, and also it may be about using extra grass to replace some sort of supplementary feed that's being fed, and also then to make sure the animals are fed to their optimum so they can grow as quickly as possible during the season from grass as that's the cheapest form of feed. For some people, rotational grazing will be really easy to, um, to start. If your average field size is, is pretty small, um, so maybe your average field size is around six acres, it's possible you won't actually need to divide those fields into many paddocks, if any at all. However, if the, if the average field size is larger, what it means is the animals are having to spend too long in that, in that field, and therefore we want to break that field up in half or quarters or eighths in order so the animals can move more regularly. If our fields are too large to be grazed quickly, and when I mean say grazed quickly, I mean grazed, grazed within four or five days of the animals entering them. If the field's too large for that to happen, then we need to divide that field or that block of ground into smaller fields, which we call paddocks. How do we divide it? Well, electric fencing is the most cost-effective option, being a third or a quarter of the cost of conventional stock fences. It's important you have a good voltage supported by a well chosen energizer and a well designed earthing system. If you can achieve those, then you'll find that the cost of subdivision is very low and the return on investment very, very quick. <laughs>